let's talk about the Starfarer. So, the Starfarer is on sale on Friday the 8th of May. So this is a pre-sale talk, effectively. There's going to be an update there as well, so they're going to update us with the latest information, some extra picks, um, talk about hopefully the fuel game a little bit more, because fuel's going to really affect everything. Um, but basically, it's a big fuel tanker that suits a few more specialised roles in the verse, and it can harvest fuel as well as carrying it to places. And it's relatively large. It's going to make some people a lot of money. And I just wanted to talk about the spirit and flavour of that ship uh, and what they originally had planned for it and what you can likely to be like to expect in the verse once it actually comes out and also what we're likely to expect on Friday. So without further ado... The MISC Starfarer is the galaxy's standard fuel transporter. Starfarers are ubiquitous on both sides of the fueling process. Their massive tanks allow for both collection of spaceborne fuel from gas giants and extrasolar sources, as well as the transport of active fuel from refinery stations to the primary market. So, you're going to be able to refuel ships mid-flight with the Starfarer, making it very useful in any fleet um, or organisation. You can use it in trade and transportation for to moving fuel from one point to another to sell, or even to sell on the move. You might be finding people out in the verse who have run out of fuel or, or something's happened that they need refueled and they pay a premium for. Moreover, the Starfarer can collect and harvest that fuel. On the latest cargo master chart, the Starfarer can carry just over 4,040 SCU standard cargo units, which is about 15% less than the Hull C, and the Hull C can carry around 4,600 SCU. But the Starfarer is going to be much more suited to the collection and carrying of fuel, and possibly liquids in general, than, than uh, the, that of other cargoes or other cargo vessels. So. It's a collection ship as well. It's an industry ship as well as being a transporter. It's, it can be akin to more of the Orion than it could be to like the Hull series. So you're going to actually be able to make money by physically going out and finding sources of fuel. It's likely to be sold for $195 to $200 for the standalone. That's based on previous sales. But this one is very unlikely to come with LTI unless CIG have some sort of massively special plan for it. So you're likely to get the six months uh, and the industrial hangar with this ship. Uh, and if you're thinking about it now, LTI isn't really that important. Especially for these kind of trade ships, losing their cargo is going to be your primary concern. And buying insurance is likely to be a very minor cost. Just remember to buy the insurance. You can't insure the cargoes, I don't think. Um, although some missions, if you get your, like, I'm going to transport um, fuel from A to B for a particular company, you might not have to pay for that fuel. Or it might be, uh, can you collect some fuel in this system? Um, for this particular company, they might offset some of your insurance costs if you did lose your ship. This ship is going to suit a lot of industry and trade players alike. It's likely that it's simple to collect fuel as well, and there's going to be varying types of fuel and components needed to create fuel. So there's going to be a good selection of places to obtain materials from in your Starfarer. And if you want to do trade in a specialised area or effectively mine with less effort than you would have to do in a, an Orion, then the Starfarer seems like a really good choice. The ship should also be operable effectively with one crew, meaning it's a great idea and investment for a single player business enterprise. On the stats currently, although we are likely to see a big update and change on Friday, um, but I mean it's not going to be a massive change, or at least this is the flavour of the ship. Let's talk about the flavour of the ship. It looks like the Starfarer will be capable of defending itself and it has room for another crew member currently on its stats uh, it's got two crewmen uh, four size five gimbals um, a manned turret which that's basically what the second crewman's for uh, some form of pylon options as well so i mean four size five gimbals the ship was planned to be able to defend itself pretty well um, and with this kind of ship you don't need much weaponry. You don't need that much weaponage. You see, you can evade the enemy. You can just make them think twice about attacking you. you you're carrying a specialised cargo. They'd have to bring some sort of specialised pirate ship to be able to take your cargo and make it worth their while. They might just want money a few. They might want to just troll you. But if you're targeted by an overwhelming force of pirates, it might be best to surrender. Or, if yours going to be volatile in the universe, self-destruct. I don't negotiate with pirates. Screw you, mother trucker. Kaboo. If you're interested in the industry game, thinking about trade or running a one or two man business, then it's definitely worth checking out this sale this Friday 
with the staff error and the update. We're also likely to see a little bit more flavor of how fuel is going to work in the verse. Now, these are things that everyone's going to need. Fuel is a constant that everyone's going to need. And fuel prices, as we can see in real life, when they go up, everything else goes up. You need transportation. You need to get things from one place to another. And fuel is the main like heart of that. So this is going to be a resource that if it changes in value in the economy will affect everything else either positively or negatively mostly probably negatively unless you're trying to sell something if you're really desperate you're trying to sell water say and um, you've got tons of water on a planet that you've transported in your whole e to a, a desert world i mean it's going to be a, a reasonable amount on a desert world because they don't have much water and they might need agriculture there or something yeah but if fuel goes up massively and people are having a hard time being able to transport goods to that planet then that price is going to go up significantly and, and that trade is going to make more money so there's loads of different factors here and starfarers might not be popular with other traders people that are trading cargo might go bloody starfarers lowering the prices for our goods just food for thought anyway guys anyway i hope that was informative i mean it was more of just a rant about a starfarer from me who's i i to be honest I probably would have bought a Star Farer if I didn't have my Orion. Um, and I'm now thinking that the Star Farer is going to be a lot more simple choice. But we'll wait until Friday. We'll see. Hopefully they'll give us some update about the the fuel harvesting mini game, Or if it's just incredibly easy, you just go past the planet. You take care, guys. I'll see you in the verse. Check out Friday for fuelage and Star Farer. And this is...